Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing the Revlon One Step Styler Brush and the Revlon One Step Volumizer. I do have separate reviews for both of these hair dryers so I will link those videos down below but in today's video I'm going to be comparing them against each other to see which one comes out on top so if you're interested to see just keep watching. So my hair is freshly washed. I shampooed deep conditioned and conditioned. So on this side, I'm gonna be using the Revlon One Step Styler with a brush. And on this side, I'm gonna be using the Revlon One Step Volumizer, just to see which brush is better, since I do have both, I might as well do a comparison video. So as always, I'm gonna start on level one, just so that I can get the hair completely dry. And then I'm gonna follow up on level two to get it completely straight. So as some of you know already, I do prefer to use this Revlon hairdryer brush because it's the easiest method that I've tried so far. Although I do want to get my hands on a Rev Air, but that is money. But hopefully we'll get a sponsorship one day. <laughs> but anyways, so this is my preferred method of blow drying. And even though it is the easiest, it's still not the best method. The hair dryer and the paddle brush or round brush is the ideal method for the straightest results. Like even with taking small sections, I still can't get silky results with this brush. But I do think it's still a great hairdryer for what it is. But there is room for improvement. <laughs> it's perfect if you don't have much experience with blow drying. And it's perfect also to be used as a first step in blow drying. Just to stretch the hair first and then possibly go in with the hairdryer and paddle brush to get the straightest results. I've done that before in one of my curly to straight routines because I found that the paddle brush and the hairdryer separately was snagging my hair too much and the shrinkage wasn't helping <laughs> but with this Revlon dryer it was able to detangle my hair really well and it doesn't snag at all looks pretty good as always I'm gonna use this hinge brush and do this side again I'm gonna use level one until it's completely dry and then level two until it's completely straight and I'm gonna use the round brush action this time to see if that makes a difference because this was just making me hot last time I used it so I'm already hot so if you can see I'm hot already so let's go now on to the Revlon volumizer first of all I didn't expect it to be so big and I think that's where the flaw lies it's just too bulky and clumsy you can even see in one clip that like, it actually almost falls out of my hand and it weighs a lot more than the brush version and also, I spent a lot of time trying to match the straightness on the other side. In fact, it took double the time to blow dry this side. The other side took only 10 minutes and this side took 22 minutes. <laughs> and it still didn't get bone straight. I even tried a twirling action this time and that didn't help much. Ooh, okay. So I do feel like the technique works with like wrapping it around. But my arms are aching, my hands are aching. I felt less hot doing it that way as well but I still think the results on this side is coming out a lot better this still looks quite poofy to me but I'm gonna keep going and try to get it as straight as possible to be honest my hair is very stubborn and I've always struggled with blow drying my hair not so much the straightening sides of things but the blow drying is always like a mega task but back in the day I did used to use a comb attachment hair dryer and that worked pretty well and I was quite content with that method and I don't know why I stopped doing that method. Um, does anyone else still use a comb attachment hairdryer? Let me know in the comments below because I feel like it might need to make a comeback. <laughs> but yeah, I did notice that the blow dryer did give me a lot more volume on my roots, which is great. But once I straighten my hair, that volume isn't really gonna stay. And if I wanted more volume on my hair, I would have to put curls in it or something. So that isn't really a plus. <laughs> I just think this brush wasn't really designed for my hair type and its purpose is to achieve a blowout for straighter hair types you know like a voluminous blowout with like body and movement i've seen a few videos of this brush used in that way and they get great results but for my hair it's not it's not gonna work like that <laughs> maybe after i straighten my hair but also i don't recommend blow drying straightened hair because it messes up with the silkiness well for me anyway that's what i find okay so i don't feel like it's done as well as a job on this side but i am going to go through it once more just so that i can do like smaller sections and roll it to see if i can get a straight result as you can see i had to go over the section again in smaller sections to get a better result and it still didn't come out as straight as i wanted it <laughs> so i definitely don't recommend this brush 
at all and i think i'm actually going to give it away because it serves no purpose in my hair care so if any of my family or friends want a blow dryer let me know okay so i do feel like i gave them both a fair shot so this side took less time and i feel like it's a little bit more flat than this side um don't know if you can see it's a lot flatter on this side not a lot but i can tell the difference anyway I do feel like the twisting technique did work with the voluminizer, but this is the overall winner. This worked way way better and it was quicker. And yeah. What do you guys think? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over this side with this brush to see if I can get straight results. You got me Okay, so that's all done now and as you can see it's looking a lot flatter like it's matching the side now so out of the two brushes I definitely do recommend this one over this one because it just works way better it gives you straight results and this one is a bit bulky on the hand like my hand was cramping me from like twisting it it's a bit heavy going from this one to this one this one just felt so lightweight in my hand and yeah this just feels a bit clumsy to me. Like, I feel a bit annoyed that I bought this brush now because I thought it was going to be like an upgrade for this one. And I'm not unhappy with this brush. It's just that I don't get the straightest results using this brush. I'm used to using like my two-handed hairdryer with the bristle brush and doing it that way. I'm just all about trying to make it as easy as possible for me to do my hair these days. So the Revlon One Step brush is the easiest way I found that I can blow dry my hair. It's the quickest method as well. As you can see in the video, this took half the time it took to do this side. So if you want to see the reviews of the blow dryers individually, I'll leave the links for them in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos for myself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.